man. Hello. Welcome. Testimony Tuesday. Way to sink the three, Carter. Good well, job, man. Yeah, been a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I bet you guys know this uh, guy, Carter Snap. Uh, Carter is a senior at... Uh, soon to be. Soon to be. Uh, soon to be a senior? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. That's right. You're ending your junior years and you'll be a senior. So you got another year of basketball and what all you want to do later? Yes, huh? yes I do. Oh, Finish out well, this week and next go. year. So uh, I remember when Carter was a freshman and I was there with a guest motivational speaker and there was uh, ever how many kids were at the Bell Fountain School at that time? What, eight, nine hundred in the high school? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so Carter is sitting there. He's a freshman now and uh, he's sitting there and this speaker asked so what do you all do to cope with life how do you all cope with life and carter spoke up and said basketball and jesus jesus and man he never batted an eye i mean he really didn't and i mean i was proud of him because you know i i he, he uh, carter the snap family worships with us and and uh, we just appreciate Lisa and Carrie, and then, and and you all are athletic. I mean, you know, uh, for the most part. Uh, well, I'd say my sister has most of it. You are you but, giving most of the credit to your sister? We are blessed. We're yes, very blessed. Yes, but such a sweet family. And oh, Carter, man, he just unashamedly, I mean, just very vocally, very courageously, boldly says basketball and Jesus and. Uh, so I was pretty pumped about that. Now remember, he, he didn't say that in front of, uh, you know, two or 300 church people. He said that in front of 900 fellow students. And so Carter, uh, what's it like being a Christian uh, at Bell Fountain High School? Well, the first and most important thing about being a student for me, I'm gonna start off as being a Christian. Yeah. Um, you know, we're involved in so many activities, clubs, sports. You know, grades are so much of a stress, but what's got to come number one is Christ. Yeah, you know, every day. Okay. And I, I'm not ashamed to admit I have a problem, you know, getting in my word and sometimes and staying on top of things. But yeah. it, it, we die to ourselves daily. Yeah. Um, Paul talks about in the New Testament. Sure. That I die daily. Yeah. I die to myself so that mm -hmm. the will of Christ can be flourished through me through in my life. And yeah. So d daily in the high school setting, um, it's gotten a lot easier. You know, starting out being a little bit more immature coming into high school you kind of figure yourself out maturity wise mm -hmm. and how to speak up for yourself and your courage level and, yeah. and you're going all through all these different emotions and you mm -hmm. know you're growing yeah so learning to be able to show other people the most important thing that you have is is it's the most important thing for me sure sure because no matter how hard it gets no matter how many people subtly make fun of you or Mm. You know, whatever the stigma or the situation is around your life, you have to be able to show Christ to others because that's what he did for us. Yeah. So you, you said uh, subtly make fun of you. Do, do Have there been students that have uh, kind of made fun of you because you're a Christ follower or... Uh, or, or may, I can, so there's two points to this question. Have you, have you been challenged by adults in, uh, in the, you know, like teachers and staff? Uh, for your faith, uh, and then have you been challenged by uh, students? Let's use it that way uh, instead of the the biggest challenge. I would say is just dealing with social situations and people because they don't have the kind of knowledge that I have about Christ. Right. So you have to be gracious. You yeah. Have to, you have to be patient. And, you know, that's the good. fruit of the spirit. Yeah. You know. So when they don't have the kind of understanding that I have, they're in a sense they're ignorant to it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to make fun of you. I mean, it's just okay. like anything else. So, so basically, you're thinking, uh, and they just kind of are derogatory towards you because simply they just don't know. It's not because they know and just want to give you a hard time. It's just they don't know. Well, they don't know, and then there's so much stigma around Christians and, you know, not being able to do all these certain things that they think is so much fun. Yeah. You know, the Bible says there's pleasure in sin for a, while, yeah, for for a short, season. For yeah, a while, that's right. Yeah. After that, it's... Yeah, it's downhill, it's man. Downhill. It's downhill. So, yeah, um, dealing with that, it's I've grown to deal mm. with it, um, but I love them. Yeah, you know, no matter what they say or do. Sure, I love them the same way I would love my brother in Christ. You yeah, know, 
and, and that that is that is needed. Uh, of course, man, you have a great family, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, you know, love the Lord and and uh, just a great great dad and mom. You, I mean, you got it coming from both sides of your grandparents, you know, and so <clears throat> you know, you you have such a heritage in 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 the faith and. And uh, I, I just, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate your boldness. What, uh, what contribution would you say being brought up in a Christian home has made to uh, God allowing you to become the person that you are? And I, you know, I, I don't want, you know, I, I want you to know, man, we're proud of you around here, you know, because when you get on a, when you get on the public, uh, in the public eye, you, and, and you're going to get to see a video here in a moment, Carter's at Chalk Talk, and and uh, at the end of this, there's about three or four minutes, I think, and uh, you're going to get to see it, and hey, right there in front of God, Coach, and everybody, you know, you're just letting letting it out for Jesus, right. and, and, and and man, that makes your family, I know it makes your family, I, can t I promise you, uh, it makes uh, your church proud of you for doing that, uh, and so what contribution do you think family has had in that? Well, it lays a foundation for the knowledge of the principles of Jesus Christ. Um, people I go to school with don't have the kind of foundation that I have. Yeah. You know, as rebellious as I've been or as, yeah. you know, ignorant as I've subconsciously been <laughs> to the knowledge of what my parents have instilled in me, I still have the foundation. I still have the subtle conviction of the Holy Spirit in my life. Yeah. Because no matter how far I go, some of these kids don't have what I have. So mm. they're going even farther. Sure. You know, sure. and I've been so blessed to have what most people don't have, mm -hmm. a relationship with Christ. And I credit that to my parents. Because if it wasn't for my parents dragging me into church every Sunday, <laughs> and Wednesday, I don't think I'd be where I am. Yeah, you know, sure. It comes back down to personally serving Christ. Yeah. But having my parents and my family and just growing up around the atmosphere, you know, the atmosphere of praying and, and not having so much anger with each other and, and just loving one another no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, just as Christ loves His church. Sure, uh, it's definitely been very, much been, been very, 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 very important. Me. Very important. You know, uh, several folks that will follow this, and let me just say thank you for uh, following, and we encourage you to uh, share this. Uh, now, you're 17 or 18. 17. I'll be 18 in December. Okay, you're seven. So, so here, here's a 17 year old uh, at Bell Fountain High School who just lets his light shine. And man, get that out there. That would encourage other young men and other young ladies. Uh, hey, Carter, we know you don't always get it right because we don't always get it right. right. And you know, we, right. we understand that. But we, again, we just appreciate it so, so very much. And so be sure to share this, get this out there uh, so, so other folks can, can see that. And, and, uh, and, and again, set, mom and dad, set your teenager down, let them, let them chat. You know, or let them let them watch Carter chat here a little bit, and uh, maybe it'll encourage him. But Carter, so uh, when you um, when when you think about uh, you know you're involved in basketball, and uh, not not a very not a real good season this year was it in basketball? No, it wasn't. But hey. it's still a blessing that I'm out there. Able to play. Yeah. So how, how do you uh, now that this is a good this is a good place to talk for just for a moment when. You're in a bad place. You all just had a tough season this year, man. I, and I love your coach, and uh, I appreciate you know I appreciate your your you know I know a number of your uh, teammates. Uh, I get a I get a referee them every now and then, you know, and uh, more the girls than the boys. But uh, uh, and how how do you how do how do you let your light shine when when you're having a bad season? Because in life we have some bad seasons. Well, yeah, I mean. Most of life isn't going to be sunshine and rainbows. And how similar is that to my basketball and my football and my track season? Yeah. You know, even though we had a bad basketball season, yeah. okay, I still have the joy of the Lord. Yeah. You know, that, that's the difference between having the joy of the Lord and having happiness that comes through mm -hmm. things in life. Because it's going to depart from you. Mm -hmm. You know, I have the Lord, so I have the ability to be joyful even in times of trial. Yeah. Even in times of despair through the basketball season. It wasn't that bad. But, I mean, we didn't win very much, you but I still win. had fun. You still had fun. You know, hey. I, 
There you go. I'm in high school, so I mean that's that's the point of things is to have fun in a good way. <laughs> and so I just enjoyed it. I mean, even though at times it was a little bit of a struggle, you learn how to deal with situations. It's a maturity thing. Mm-hmm. You know, not not flying off the handle when things don't go your way. Yeah. You know, so yeah. having having that kind of growth and maturity to be able to handle bad things because things are going to come in life that aren't going to be your way. Most of the time, they're not going to go your way. Yeah. So you have to be able to handle them in a Christ-like way. So let me tell you a little funny here now. So Carter's playing basketball. Now, this if this embarrasses you, uh, you know, we can cut it out. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. <laughs> but Carter's playing basketball. See, you would think a, a Christian guy like this, you know, you think, boy, I bet he is really laid back on the court. Uh, he is just the opposite. He is, man, he is, you got... He has faster and fastest. <laughs> That's his speed. He's going 100 miles an hour. He plays defense like a beast. I mean, he does. And and oh and and we, I was at a ball game, and I was watching Carter play. And, and and let's just say he got hit where it hurts. And man, did you? He didn't. Hey, you can tell. But he just kept playing. He just kept grinding it out. I mean, seriously. And. So is life. Boy, doesn't life hit you where it hurts. Talk about it. Well, you know, just like basketball, when, and I can compare this better to football because. Oh, that is true, fo- yeah. Football, football is more hurts. physical. Football is way more physical. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you have that's to be true. able to, to handle the blows. I mean, fo- that's what the whole game of football is about, is handling blows. Exactly. So how much more in life are we going to handle um, spiritual blows from the enemy. You know, yeah. The Bible talks about our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principles and evildoers of darkness. Yeah. So when I come against problems against people, we have to remember that our battle is not against them. Our fight is not against them. Mm-hmm. I have the Holy Spirit. I have to have the discernment to be able to deal with things that come my way. Because like we were talking about, we are going to take some blows. We are going <laughs> to deal with some hardships and some sifters and some valleys. But you know what? God, God's in it. He is there. He's always there. <laughs> You just kept playing. I mean, you know. And just like basketball, you got to keep playing. Football, you got to keep playing. Life, you got to keep going because you, go. you can't give up. That's good, Carter. Trust and me that, is, that is that is that is so good. I, I appreciate that, man. That's just some good stuff. Uh, you know, so here's something you may not know about Carter. I really thought, and I still think, I, I don't know. This may not be on your uh, radar, but I still think you're going to be a preacher. And, uh, and yeah, I do, man. I mean, I just think you're going to be a preacher. And, uh, but now keep in mind, I think a lot of people are going to be preachers, you're but, right. uh, you're right. but, uh, you know, only the Lord knows. And I don't, I don't want to call you to preach. I, that's the Holy Spirit's job, but I know, man, God is using you now and God is going to use you greatly in the future. Hey, now, again, when we get through here, we're going to go to this video and let everybody see this video. It'll be in here. Carter, last minute share with this group young men young lady uh follow jesus tell them talk to them well i think the most important thing is um taking the initiative to learn about christ um the holy spirit's always going to be there nagging at you yeah i'm telling you just just keep going learn about this a little bit more Mm. Um, and especially as a younger person in christ you're not going to have the kind of knowledge or or the kind of motivation to do things and that's okay that that's the growing process you know my walk with the lord isn't the same as your walk with the lord, or your walk with yeah. the lord. um and that can be applied to anything uh, as a young teenager you're gonna you're you're discovering how to deal with things how how to handle bad situations and good situations in life and you know all all the facets that come with everything in life yeah so my my one tip is to just seek the lord you know, draw near to the Lord and he'll draw near to you. That's what the Bible says. Amen. So good stuff. Even even if you are in seasons of doubt, and I confess I have a lot of doubt sometimes. You know, we all deal with doubt mm. because we're on earth. We're not made perfect yet. Yeah. So trust in the Lord. It it's a long walk, but the straight and narrow leads to glory. So mm. just stick to it and uh Christ will always be there with you. Amen. Trust in him. That is important. good. Carter. Thank you for being with us. Hey, don't don't leave. Stay in and watch this video. Of, again, Christ just, uh, or I'm sorry, Carter just in front of folk uh, glorifying Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. Last but not least, Coach, I know we're running uh, close to time. We got Carter Snap. Carter Snap is one of our 
big positive cogs in the wheel. He's always smiling, and he'll tell you why he smiles <laughs> on his face. He's a, he's a miniature little Jesus, and that's the truth because because everybody would say that. And his hair's not long like Jesus, but I, I guess you know. But but Carter's very positive um, person on our team. He does jumps, long jump, high jump, um, hurdles, and anything we ask of him. So okay. Great great person to have around. All right. Miniature little Jesus. <laughs> Talk about that. Well, I've, um, I've definitely been blessed with the opportunities that I have, um, especially for my relationship with the Lord. Yeah. Um, so everything that everyone I'm around here, all the opportunities I receive, especially through the school, um, Coach Davis has played a huge part in that. Um, and ultimately, all the glory goes back to God because um, my relationship with Christ has definitely helped me um, in all aspects of my schooling, my education, uh, my relationships with people. I'm very blessed. Um, I mean, this talks about track and field and everything, but you know, everything goes back to to God and what He's mm -hmm. done for me, and uh, bless bless me with a, such a good team um, and a program and under a good coach that's been doing it for a long time. <laughs> that he has.